this is Daddy from Busy Daddy Cooks. Today we are making another adobo dish, pork belly and pineapple. Pork belly and pineapple may sound like a strange combination to some of you, especially for those who do not like Hawaiian pizzas. But this combination of pork belly and pineapple works really well together in this dish. The acidity of the pineapple cuts through the fattiness of the pork belly very well. The key here is to use fresh pineapples, not the canned ones. Let's start with the black pepper. Toast whole black peppercorns in a dry pan over medium heat till they are fragrant. You can use ready crushed, costly ground black pepper. But freshly toasted and freshly crushed black pepper gives a much better flavour. Remove the black pepper when it's fragrant. Next, roughly pound the black pepper in a mortar and pestle. If you do not have a mortar and pestle, you can put the black pepper corns onto your chopping board and use a saucepan to press down on it. After crushing the black pepper, give them a little sniff you will immediately realise the difference in flavour between the fresh and the bottled ones. For the pineapple, you can use the canned ones. But for this dish, the fresh ones are a lot better. If you do not want to remove the skin, go to the fresh cut food store and buy a few slices. When buying a pineapple, Look for those with a greenish top and a yellow-orange colour at the bottom, about the last three or four rows. This indicates that the pineapple is ripe and is ready to eat. If it's totally yellow or orange in colour, like this, it's way too ripe. To prepare the pineapple, remove the top and the bottom to make a flat base. Stand it up and remove the skin by cutting down on it. These are the eyes of the pineapple. Remove them. Cut the pineapple up into fours. Then, remove the centre core. Cut each slice in half. Then, into 2cm pieces. Next, brown the pineapple on both sides. In a pan over medium heat, put in 2 tablespoons of oil. Put in the pineapple in one layer at the bottom of the pan. Wait for about a minute for the bottom side to be brown. Then, turn it over and brown the other side as well. When done, remove and set aside. Now for the pork. Here is 500 grams of pork belly. Remove any excess fat. Add 
cut the pork up into about two finger width white pieces. In the same pan, put in a little oil. And fry the pork belly. Just like the pineapple, put the pork belly at the bottom of the pan in one layer. Brown the bottom side of the pork belly, then flip it over and brown the other side. After browning, if too much oil has rendered out of the pork belly, remove some of them. But don't remove the brown bits at the bottom of the pan. That's fun and that's flavour. To the pork belly, add 1 teaspoon of salt. Add in the black pepper. Three bay leaves, eight cloves of garlic that has been smashed and the skin removed. Also add in 150 ml of Filipino cane vinegar. This is the Filipino cane vinegar that I'm using. If you don't have this, you can substitute it with apple cider vinegar. Add in 50 ml of soy sauce. Then add in enough water to almost cover the pork. Bring all this to a boil and lower it to a simmer. Next, you want to deglaze the pan. Do this by gently scraping the brown bits off the bottom of the pan. Cover and let this gently simmer for about one and a half hours. Turn the pot over halfway through the cooking process. But also check it regularly to make sure that the water has not dried out. At the end of one and a half hours, you should have about one cm worth of thickened sauce at the bottom of the pan. When you run your spatula across the bottom, you should be able to see the bottom of the pan. Next, add in the pineapple. Give this a good mix to heat the pineapple through. Then, taste and adjust for seasoning. This dish goes great over rice. This is pork belly and pineapple adobo.